All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. As promised, this is going to be part four of the Halloween update. It is a day late because it got delayed, but this is a uh, pretty big. I think it's going to be very sick. I haven't seen it yet, so it's going to be my first time seeing it. But um, let's just go through the list real quick. We've got the Dulahan has arrived in Nilgarf, so he is right here across from the pet person. You can just find him right here on the like wagon thing and you can talk to him and give him 99 candy corn or a stack and it'll take you to badlands this is not badlands in its entirety this is just a small like kind of teaser portion of badlands so i don't know if it is like pvp enabled stuff like that but i'm assuming in here in the in the badlands map you can obtain an ancient skull rarely from skeletons to place on the ritual pedestals to summon the skull boss. This is going to probably be using the same mechanic that we'll see in actual Badlands to summon the multiple bosses that are in there. Or summon some of them. And then the skull boss has its own loot and the skeletons have their own loot. And then there is apparently another mob with its own loot as well. And um, from this point forward, I think I'm just going to showcase everything. I think I'm going to take some time to get some item drops as well to show you guys, so... Do I have... Alright, I have a stack of candy on me, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going ahead and using Testing Realm to showcase this. So this is the map. The guy that sells the candy is, of course, here. Or the, the items for candy is here. Dual haunt. Okay, as I was saying, though... Dulahan is right here, so you can go back, I assume. Yeah, just go back to Nilgarf. You can enter through this teleporter, and here is a pretty big map. Here you can kill these things. They seem to drop chocolate bars, and apparently these guys will drop a skull. Okay, but as you can see, these skeletons drop ancient skull and orange dye. So you can get the orange dye for free very rarely, and the ancient skull is what you're going to put on the altar which I believe might be that. There also is supposed to be another mob. Okay, Fright Crow is level 50. Oh God, I don't have any gear in this server. Oh, okay, apparently there's going to be a light thing there that you can equip. And these guys, oh, oh, thorns damage you, what the fuck? They're gonna drop candy corn and green lollipops, and they drop scarecrow scythe, witch's broom, meat cleaver, and bone sword, all of those. I don't know if there are more mobs, but that's what that one drops. I don't think there are more mobs. But now for the boss. All right, so change of plans. We're doing it in main game, because there's no way. I don't know if I'm gonna show it, but that thing has so much health. So we're just gonna go to Badlands in, this, in the main game. Okay, the server, my friends in it, should have the boss. Oh shit, shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Okay, it drops a lot of candy. Oh, I just saw something gold. Oh, it drops cursed. Oh, it drops a lot of cursed. What the fuck? I like how everybody's being civil and not killing each other. It's so funny. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I guess this is a good place to check it. All right, it looks like you can drop all of the armor pieces as well as cursed scrolls at 1.5%. So this is definitely the thing to grind. Alright, so if this video helped you guys and you guys liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, you know, all the usual stuff. And, uh, well, Badlands is officially here. Kinda. I actually can't, I really can't wait till actual Badlands, because this looks pretty cool. Even though it's, uh, kind of annoying to grind since skeletons spawn super slow. But, yeah, it's super cool. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.